everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be teaching you about how to take care of Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Peanut and Pretzel are going to be helping me today. They're so cute. So Madagascar hissing cockroaches are from the island of Madagascar, if you could tell by their name. Madagascar hissing cockroaches usually live about five years in captivity. They usually get about two to four inches in length. And the girls are a little bit bigger than the boys usually. To tell them apart, boys have two large bumps right here. And if you can see, the girls have it a little bit. Let me see. But not, they're not nearly as big as the boys are. Unlike most cockroaches, Madagascar hissing cockroaches don't have wings, so you don't have to worry about them flying off. They do like to crawl, however, so you, if you have them out, you do have to keep a close eye on them. Another really cool thing about these roaches is that they can actually make a hissing sound. They usually make these hissing noises when they are scared, like feeling threatened, or when they're mating. And to make these noises, they actually push air through their spiracles. As far as housing goes for these little guys, I would recommend a 10 to 15 gallon tank. This is enough space to have several of them. They usually need temperatures from 75 to 90 degrees. You also don't want their temperature getting below 65 degrees. A good way to get that is to have an under tank heat mat, just like from the pet store, the same ones you use for reptiles. This should provide enough heat. You don't really want to get a heat lamp because they don't really like the light. It could cause them a lot of stress and stuff, so I would just recommend using a heat lamp. They also need a lot of humidity, so just make sure that the substrate you choose is one that will hold the humidity. And also try to miss their cage a couple times a day. Another thing to consider is that they need a lot of hiding places because they don't like being out in the open. Where they're from, they're prey to a lot of different animals, and so they've learned to hide. Animals such as lemurs, lizards, and birds like to eat them, and so they have to find really good hiding places in order to survive in the wild. And you want to make their cage as, like, natural as possible and give them a lot of hiding places. It will also help them feel way more comfortable. You want to provide them with fresh fruits and vegetables every day and also some type of protein. I usually use like cat food or dog food. Make sure you provide them with plenty of water. You can either use bug water or a little dish of water but try to make sure that you place like a cotton ball in the middle of it so that they can't drown. A big thing that can go wrong with them is they can get dehydrated. So you wanna make sure that if they're looking like dried out, like shriveled or anything, that you just mist them down a bit more and make sure that they have fresh water daily. Madagascar hissing cockroaches shed their skin about six times and then they're adults. Right after their shed, they usually appear white in color and you don't want to handle them during this time because it's when they're at their weakest. So just try to make sure that they are normal color before you hold them. In my opinion, Madagascar hissing cockroaches make a pretty good beginner pet. You just want to make sure that you give them the right care. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Jumping all over. 
Did you see that jump? You little... She's crazy. This little girl is crazy. She just keeps jumping. 